Hello, and welcome to the Church of You, where we are the gods. Yes! I'm your pastor, Pastor Sai. Praise me! Praise us! Yes! Let's talk about a growing movement inside of Christianity. Christian nationalism. And let's talk about why it's completely garbage. Yes! It's so true! Let's start with freedom of religion. And what that means. Oh, most of us understand what this means. It's really not that hard. But I guess some of us are still completely ignorant on this. Oh, it's so true. Why are you? It means people can believe what they want as long as they aren't hurting or harming others. That's it. That's it. It's not that hard. Most of us get this. Yes, we truly do. Yes. Even the weird dude preaching on the street corner understands this. He may be strange and wasting his time, but he isn't forcing his ideology onto others. No. No, that's terrible. It seems people who think that America is a Christian nation or we need prayer and Bibles in public schools don't get this. No, they don't. No. Mm, America is an all-encompassing nation for all people. Built by natives and immigrants alike. All humans. All on one team. Oh, it's so beautiful. Yes. All on one team. If you get upset because a mosque is being built in your town or any other non-Christian religious entity and your first reaction is to ban them from making it, you might be a bigot. Oh, I think you are a bigot. So true. So true. That's not freedom of religion. That's being an adult who acts like a toddler. Get a grip. Holy Get a grip! If you believe strongly in your religion and respect the humanity of others, as we all should, as any adult who doesn't act like a child should do, then ask yourself why you aren't going to those who believe in non-Christian ideology and try to convert them back to your beliefs. Yes! You should always respect the humanity of any person first, period. Yes! It's so true! From there... If you have the healthy love you should have for them, but still think they are going down the wrong path, oh, then talk to them. Preach to them. Try to show them your way. Yes. And if they still reject you, you respect their wishes and wish them the best. Yes. That's what adults do. Yes. When they're not toddlers, which can be so tricky for some of you. That's why Christian nationalism or any kind of ideology aligned with nationalism is hot garbage. Oh, it's so true. Yes. If you find yourself in a place of saying, we should ban them from believing what they believe, you are trash. And you know it. Search your soul. Come on. Every single person has the right to exist and have their own beliefs. Yes. Providing it does no harm to others. Yes, that simple. Simple. Figure it out. Nationalism is also inherently garbage because it leads you down a road of not accepting others as they are. Oh, that's so sad. Why wouldn't you do that? That is always step one in this world. Love the person because they are a person just like you. Oh, yeah. So true. America. Just like this church, which I love this church, it's supposed to be for you. America and this church supposed to be for you. Yes. Nothing to do with what you look like. Nothing to do with what you believe. Nothing to do with where you're from or any of the things bigots like to harp on. We know what they like to harp on because you exist. Why? You effing suck. It's just for you, me, and anyone who is accepting of others. That's what America and this church is for. Yes. That is America. That is the church of you. No strings attached. I hate strings. We love you. And if you like the message I bring, please subscribe and join us. Yes. Until next time, bless me. Bless you and bless anyone who has unconditional love for all humans.